the Yen Bar Podcast, a variety of interviews and talks, with your host, Brian Barcelo. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Yen Bar Podcast. Today's guest is Dionysus. Dionysus, I ain't going to try to hurt myself saying the rest of your name. So if you don't mind, would you please um, tell folks your name, um, a little bit about yourself, and what Max Payne GV is all about? All right. Thank you for having me once again. Uh, the name is Dionysus Kabukamono Ilan Vital. Uh, at least that's the persona on Facebook. But uh, what our platform is, is pretty much uh, a red pill platform mixed with music videos. And uh, we're pretty much uh, putting a uh, a stunt to what these girls and these women games they play in these days and these guys are just walking into traps that they have no idea that they they even knew was was happening and it's just this whole cycle that's hap- happening in in our society right now between men and women and I just want to put it on the forefront so um, our youth are more educated, so they're not going to walk in, uh, in into these traps. Now, these traps you're talking about, one of them that I heard, I'm probably going to screw this up, is about how there's, um, they, I think they got a name for it. It's like the 10-year the ten, the ten plan or something, where ladies that get these guys to marry them. And yeah. they're, they're planning on divorcing them later. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but they have a name for it, some kind of numbers like um, I think they call it the ten year, the ten year, one year, or something like that. I forgot how it works. But basically, they just marry the guys to divorce them, and they get the house and all that stuff later on. You ever Absolutely. hear anything about that? Absolutely, that's the that's the game, um, that is being taught to the youth these days from women, and I find it disgusting. Uh, for one, and for two, when you hear a little eight-year-old girl talking about, I'm not going to have a husband. I'm just going to have children because that guy is going to take care of me and these kids. So I'll never get married. You got little girls talking like that now. So the message has gone down from generation from generation to generation we're on the third generation now of this message and it's i i can't believe what i'm seeing i ain't dealing with it i've been in a relationship wonderfully for 13 years now you know what i'm saying i ain't got to deal with that mess however this is what i'm seeing and i got an eight-year-old son coming up in this so for me to just sit back and not teach him that this is happening would be oh my goodness how could i even put it i i would i would feel so bad looking at myself later in life knowing that i didn't teach my son to prepare himself for what's coming because i i was never prepared yeah no i'm sorry go ahead no yeah i was never prepared i i was raised around pimps like real pimps yeah you know what I'm saying? I was never prepared. We we dealt with women in a completely different way, but now women are doing what we, you know what I'm saying? It, it's kind of flipped up now, and I need to prepare him to where it's like, look, if it, and I even told my wife, and she's Colombian, I'm like, baby, when our son comes of age, we are taking him overseas mm. because that's where he's going to find real love. He's not, he's not going to find that shit here. He's not going to find it. He's going to find this American woman. You know, I was saying uh, this conversation is um, reminiscent of that thing that was going on with Disney and that um, actress who was playing, I think it was Snow White. And she's talking about, this isn't going to be the type of Snow yeah. White you grew up with. She, There'll be no love in this. There'll be no guy saving the damsel in distress. She ruined that whole movie. And at the same time, she ruined her own career. Because the whole time she was talking that shit during the promotional period before the movie, she ruined her career. That's what she did with that. 
with with that message that she was trying to trying to push. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, and Gal Gadot, she signed up on that. I was, oh, yeah. thinking, I was looking at her. Yeah, she signed off on that too. Matter oh, yeah. fact, I guess the whole studio did. What, what oh, do you yeah. think? Um, what do you think? Um, is going on with these people? Why are they doing that? What do you think is happening? Who's behind this? Well, you need to understand that the industry has been ran by gay people since the forties. Plain and simple. Oh wow. Not um Marxist or something like that. Or? No, 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 no. That's that's all political stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't don't. Yeah, that's that's all side stuff. You need to understand that most of these individuals live a life that is not what most folk would call the normal Christian life or the normal life or whatnot. They don't they don't play like that. You know what I'm saying? What's his name? Epstein. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jesus. Like, look what he was. He he bought a whole island just to do what he was doing, and he had nothing but people coming through for that, paying money for that. Yeah, influential people. Yeah, yeah. You see what I mean? Even Clinton had to back up off that. Oh, I don't know this guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So yeah. this is how those people operate. So that's where that comes from. But it's just a completely different thing. Unfortunately, when people like us actually get in to those positions we get shut down mm. and that's why i'm building my platform to where once i get it to a spot nothing they can do they can't shut me down mm. understood now one thing i was thinking about um i'm not quite certain about the percentage but i believe women are like 50 maybe 51 percent of the population yes you're not, um, you're not concerned about um turning off one half of the population no, matter of fact, bad publicity is good publicity. The more, the more, the more these bitches fucking hate, the, be the better off I'm gonna be. Well, better off the platform I'm gonna be. That's that's real. That is yeah. just completely real, man. I'm right. not doing it on purpose. Mm -hmm. They are doing this to themselves. I am only replicating what they have said. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you can't be mad at me. Are you going to be mad at me? You need to be mad at your own women, your own girl. The Dionysus, do you have any, um, because it sounds personal. I mean, you sound upset. Has anything happened to you in the past that made you feel this way? Uh, yeah. Uh, when I was five, I lost my mother. Mm, sorry. Um, she, and it wasn't death. She just decided to leave. And the reason it was that way is because this was the late 70s, 79, uh, 1980. And at that time, it was still, you know, black and white was not a thing. And, I'm, I, you know, I've still only met a handful of mixed folk older than me. I'm almost 50 years old. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, coming from the Midwest, it was a it was a weird experience to see your mom, a mother, a mother, just step away and just walk away for the simple fact that you're black. Wow. Incredible. Um, man, how do you, hold on. Um, yeah. Her whole family was from uh, uh, Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee and Kentucky. Oh, uh, I see. That. Her family, yeah. her family actually owned a small town. And when I say owned a small town, they had the gas station, the uh, funeral home, you know, all of the little businesses that make a little town. Mm -hmm. her Understand completely. Her, yeah, her family owned that. So she came up in money. Mm -hmm. So when her uncle and aunt found out she was, hey, yo. which was my we're daddy, gonna to, we're gonna have to beep yeah. out a lot. Yeah, of we'll that. bleep that. I'm sorry, but yeah, yeah, when they found that out, they came at her like, "Hey, we're gonna tell grandma and grandpa, and they're gonna kick you out of the will." Oh wow, they're gonna disown her. Exactly. So she chose the money over me.
And when my son, uh, a couple of years ago, when he turned uh, five, six years old around that same time, all those memories just came rushing back because I forgot all about it. Defense mechanism, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. So that's where that's where this kind of comes from on the real. But right now, I'm just seeing that these these uh, I just want to say kids, they just acting up. I mean, you they don't even know what what respect for elders is. They don't even know that term. They'll look at you stupid. Like respect for I, wait a minute, I'm supposed to respect you because you're older than me. Yeah, uh, it's yeah strange that, concept to them. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a it's a completely alien concept to these kids now, mm. and 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 it's not the kids' fault. It's the generations before them. Mm. Baby boomers. That is correct. Yeah, I fall in that category and stuff. And I'm, and and them no no I'm not saying all. I'm right. just saying that's when that's when this all started, especially that whole feminism movement. Because the feminism movement changed into this whole weird thing because before it was about them being able to work. Yay. Being able to vote. Yes. We got you. We're good. But now they done flipped the whole script. And trying to say, well, I want you to be this man that takes care of me, and you are a modern man, but I'm going to be a hoe. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And that's what, I, that's what I'm seeing. So that's why I got to put it out there, man, because I just find it funny. Yeah. I, I, never in my day have I heard a hoe asking for respect. <laughs> just, <laughs> wow. <laughs> because they know they place. Yeah, they, they know they play. respect first. Yeah, exactly. They know they place, though. That's what I'm saying. A real one, they know they place. Yeah, These so. girls, now they just, nah. It's like, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. No, 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 child. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of man-hating going on. Yes, there is a lot of man-hating going on. There's a lot of women-hating going on. There's a lot of hating going on both ways. And I'm trying to put it out there to where people can actually discern mm -hmm. the information that's provided and is out there for you to come to a conclusion yourself. Dionysus, you said there's a lot of women hating. What do you mean by that? You got some examples. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, you, got, uh, you got the guys out here that I wouldn't even call it women hating. I would call it more uh, women facting. Um, eighty percent of the divorces that happen in the United States and the UK are started by women. Mm -hmm. uh, you got fifty percent of relationships that just end just flat out in some weird way because of women, and you've got women saying that it's men's fault. Mm. That's what that is because women say it's men's fault but the statistics say otherwise ah now check this out we'll come back to this i'm sure during our conversation wanted to know how did you get into creating content for um youtube and forever else you may have content and then um what initially um sparked your interest uh, I wanted to start a cable channel back in 2003, the first video gaming channel uh, when I moved out to California. Uh, I had a 200-page notebook uh, that I had the whole thing planned out, everything ready to go, and I never uh, pursued it. I didn't get the funding. I wasn't able to find it, and then uh, the cable channel G4 came out, which was the first video gaming channel. And it's almost like they took my my book play by play because they even had shows that were named the exact shows that I wanted to do. Hmm. So it was really weird All right, that, um, that, so that, that happened. Thinking, yeah. Are we thinking that great minds think alike, or you think somehow somebody got a hold of the information? Well, well, if you look at it, uh, in a in a general sense of. Uh, with uh how i'm trying to remember that dude's name he's up there with buddha but i can't remember his name right now but 
every everyone's connected in some way. So if you think in it, somebody else is gonna think that at some point. You see what I'm saying? That's right. just how it is. That's just how it is. So yeah, uh, that that's where I that's well, that's that's how I took it. So it was like shit. I just didn't jump on it fast enough. Understood. Yeah, um, I I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, I sit here and come up with all kinds of ideas, and I learned over time to go online and see if somebody else came up with the idea. Cause like, yeah. um, well, actually, right now, ten times out of ten, somebody else came up with the idea too. Matter of fact, I found they have a a whole society built around it and stuff. You know, a community. Yeah. So yeah, so like I said, nothing new under the sun. Right. That's that's why that's why I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Um, because there's not many uh, that are doing what I'm doing. There's there's a, a lot of red pill um, content out there. Mm -hmm. However, there's not a mixture of red pill with um, entertainment, like personal music videos that I make and, mm -hmm. and that other stuff. You see what I mean? So I'm able to create something that is unique in itself. And, and to me, to me, that's that's very important. That's cool. Now your channel covers a wide range of content um, from like memes, TikTok compilations, and uh, something called dank dubs um, and music videos. Um, what is it that inspires your creative direction? Uh, anything that I enjoy watching, I want to get back out on our platform because I know someone else is going to enjoy it. Um, if, if it's not good content, I'm not going to put it on my shit. It's just not going to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if, if I'm laughing, if I'm enjoying myself, if I'm just sitting back, you know, laying in the cut, able to just, you know, just let this go for, for an hour or two, you know what I mean? That's good content. And, and that's what I am trying to provide, uh, for people. That's why I want to shift this all over to, a, a Roku channel and uh, start putting advertisers on it and get that money. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get paid, man. That's you right. Know, you upload um, new videos, uh, I believe, every week. So how do, you stay, how do you stay consistent and motivated with your content creation? Uh, just, uh, my goodness. Um, I'll, I'll say this, and this is for other creators out there. Um, there's a lot of times I'll get scared and I'll know what I want to do. And it's, I'll, it's like step into the base of Mount Everest. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Looking up and at it, that summit. Straight up, wow. straight up. And you're yeah. like, you're like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah. I want to do this. You get scared. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because you know how much work you got to put in to do what you are attempting to do. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And I get that feeling all the time. Wow. The thing is, you got to beat that. And I have to do that every time. And me beating that is the times you're talking about. So each day when, when I'm thinking about what can I do, what, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, uh, what what else? What next? What this? What that? Ooh, I got this idea. I got that idea. Oh, my God. The first thing that pops in my head is that's going to be way too much. Wow. Yeah, I was amazed. The last time we had spoke, I was amazed by how many cuts you said you put in the video. Oh, yeah. That's the that's the big music ones, man. It's it's not the 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 normal videos, but mm -hmm. the the music videos. Yeah, yeah, those those take a lot of cuts to put together properly, or else it just doesn't flow right. Right now, sometimes, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Sometimes you'll um share work from other people on your site. I think I ran into that. Um, when I looked at a video. I, I had assumed that you had done the video, and you corrected me. Um, you told me that you got it from somewhere else. Yes. Can, yeah. Can you talk more about that, please? Yes. So my platform, maxpaingv.com and eventually the Roku channel, it's not just going to be what we're doing. It's going to be the community of these individuals that make some very good content, wonderful music videos. They put work into it. They put their 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 neck into it. You, you can tell it because it's good. You know what I mean? And, that, and I, I share that. 
You see what I mean? So at the same time, I, I want them to know that I'm not, this isn't just about me trying to, it, I, if I make money, cool. But that's not what this is about. You see what I'm saying? I want to just be able to provide that place for these people to come together and actually have a place to say, yeah, look what I did. Exactly. Because you remember as a kid growing up, you remember how it was with your mama and daddy. Hey, look what I did. Mm -hmm. Look what I did when you built that thing in the backyard or you built that in, the, in, in your room with Legos or you did this or you did that or you did good in school and you got these good grades. Look what I did. It's the same thing. That feeling never stops through age. It really doesn't. And that's what I want to give to all of these individuals that are putting in that work like I am. And I have the means to do it, so I'm going to do it. Right. Now, it seems like you um, have a dedicated, active community going on there. And now, what I want to ask you is how do you um, go about interacting with um, viewer, uh, viewers and how do you go about uh, building like a connection with the people that well, check out your videos? My community, one, isn't that big, and two, I really don't communicate. Ooh. Uh, I, I don't do that. This isn't, I'm not trying to be some YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, uh, Facebook star or something like that. I'm building a cable network. I just need people watching my shit. Understood. Now, you see what I'm out. saying? Yeah. yeah. Have, um, <laughs> have you ever dealt with any um, negative feedback or criticism? And if yes. so, how do you handle that kind of situation? Uh, it depends on what, what's said. I've only had one that actually threw me off, but I've had several folk trying to, you know, say something down. But I knew looking at, at what they were doing, uh, they were just jealous. So I didn't even bother. So I just, I don't even mess with that stuff. But there was this one, and he had some really, really, really good content. And what he said actually made sense. So I had to listen. And I said, thank you. And incorporated that into what you do? Exactly. That's what's up. Now, it seems like um, a lot of the pushback that you um, would receive, if you received any, um, would come from women. Has that been the case? No. Oh, wow. Hmm. No. Do you think that's kind of curious? Why do you think that's the case? Seems like they'd be pissed uh, that off. I don't know. That I don't know. But hmm. there, I ain't getting no no pushback from from women. What what not? No, at least not as of yet. But I can't wait because the moment that happens is the moment we start blowing up. Yeah. Do you think women are watching the channel? Uh, no, I doubt it because we haven't marketed yet. I see, and you, um, the analytics that you get, or do you check out your analytics? All the time. Hmm, and that doesn't help about men, women, age, and all that stuff? Not right now. Not I, right now. I haven't directly marketed or put the money in for that. That's, that's why you'll see the numbers that you see on the YouTube and the videos and stuff like that. Um, if you go back to the beginning of the youtube channel you see when i was putting money in and marketing and you'll see those videos getting thousands and thousands and thousands right. of views you see what i mean mm -hmm. but i'm not putting that money in right now right once i do come back and ask me that question again <laughs> Understood. definitely now um memes and um dank humor uh, let's see. It seems like it's a big part of the content that you make. Absolutely. Um, what do you think um, makes a meme truly successful? Uh, as long as it's off the rail, as in it's not something you would expect to see. Kind of like humor itself and stuff. Usually it's something that is that's correct. That's unexpected. the key. That is the key to a joke. If you if you if you go back to uh, I can't even remember who said it. But he broke down the definition of how to tell a joke. And the main key was unexpected. It's not a joke if it's expected. Ah, understood. Now, um, do you have any uh, favorite meme trends or formats? No, not really. 
But if there was one, I guess it'd be video. I guess you don't deal with stills too much. Yeah, uh, but no, not really. I just, I, I just like creating videos. I guess yeah. so. Video would be the format. Uh, right. Yeah, I do have, I do do stills and stuff like that as well. Yeah, cause um, from um studying, um prepping for um your interviews, I didn't realize that memes were also video. Yes. I always thought of memes as a picture yeah. with a couple of words. Just a picture top. with some words in yeah. it. Yeah. Nah, yeah. nah, man. Nah, they, those, those pictures actually come from a video. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> most of the time, yeah, most of the time, those 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 single shot pictures will come from a video, and yeah, I I just find the shit funny as hell, man, and I love it. I love seeing how life is just happening, mm -hmm. and how people are behaving the the way they are. I and it's just it's just so funny to me. So you like um the watcher, the observer. <laughs> like observe. yeah yeah man on, and yeah. and and it man my goodness and when you compare how people operate here in america people operate in uk people operate in australia people operate in india people operate in saudi arabia when you compare you'll see all of these vast differences but there's a lot of this stuff that is all the same yeah, there's tons of similarities. And it's cool to focus on that some instead of our differences so much. Right about that. Now just how um let's see. I know we're gonna be getting down to it and stuff. Let's try to go through it. I got quite a few more questions here. Let's go. All right, let's go to um, futures and aspirations. Uh, maybe we can cover this in about five minutes. So what are your biggest goals for your YouTube channel in the coming year? And for Roku also. Well, the YouTube channel is not really a uh a goal uh mm -hmm. it's just there uh as a copyright check that's it i use it as a tool that's, understood that, that is it um i'm only preparing my content um to build the library that i have been building for the past three years so i can have at least five to six months of content that doesn't repeat itself wow you see what I mean? Yeah, it's a lot of content. Wow. So that's what that's what I've been building up, and that is the goal to release that, and then watch the world say yay, or nay. Yeah, I think they'll like it. Do you have any plans to collaborate with other creators or explore new content formats? Absolutely. At first, I will be utilizing other creators. And then at some point when creators notice that they want to be on my platform, I'm going to say, pay me this and you can be on my platform. Understood. Now, what advice do you have for um, inspiring content creators such as yourself, um, like who may want to build their own presence online or perhaps with Roku or something? Uh, don't get scared uh, standing at the summit looking up at the mountain understood you're gonna get scared mm. no that's gonna happen it's a daunting task straight up you gonna get scared but you gotta go you already packed up you already got your backpack you already got everything you need you better get the step <laughs> there you because go. if you don't get the step and you ain't never gonna get to where you trying to go exactly that's because you're trying to get there right <laughs> exactly now, as a meme creator, where do you see the future of online humor and meme culture heading? Uh, I see the government actually shutting it down. Uh oh. Ooh. All right. <laughs> yeah, you may be right. I mean, the way things look with all the censorship that's going on, it's, um, it's kind of crazy and stuff. Got me second guessing what to post and what to say. Um, right about oh, that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Shit just got real right there. <laughs> yeah, man. Because yeah, they yeah. I I see the government actually shutting it down, man. Um, as much as we like to tote free speech, mm -hmm. uh, the more this far right gets in power, right. the less that's gonna happen. And I'm not a left right person. I don't give a shit about politics. Right. But it's those people that are doing it. Yeah. 
Now you said Defar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like are doing way, the way, way, way over there. Yeah, way over there. Those people over there. Yeah. Not the left. Oh, yo, oh, oh, they censor other shit. <laughs> so they, <laughs> we ain't talking about that stuff. Here. Yeah, yeah. They <laughs> we ain't talking about that. No, 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 no. They censor all that stuff. I'm talking about them over there. Ah, so everybody's into that censorship thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's why I said I'm not into this whole left-right thing, man. Right. Now, just out, we got some bonus questions because we're almost getting down there out of time and stuff. Um, What's the funniest meme that you've ever seen? Oh, damn. Now I know that's a tough one. Now you're going to make me think. Yeah, this is going <laughs> to take a minute. Funniest meme? I think yeah. it was the one I made uh, when, um, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So this guy was writing on the side of the wall while taking a shit, <laughs> and it said, no, Scotty, don't be me. <laughs> and then it's just, and then it's just a line that goes up. <laughs> yeah, Scotty, don't be me. <laughs> Yeah, you saw the crap. I remember seeing that. Yep. One. That is a good one. I remember that one. Yeah. So that All would right. that would be that would be up there, man. That yeah. that's a good one. All right. This one borders on silly, but it's an interesting question. Really, the answers I think are interesting. If Why you could have any superpower, what would it be? I'm sorry, say that one more time. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Superpower. Um Understanding women and reading their minds. <laughs> I think we all would like some of that one. And check this out. What's one thing um, most people don't know about you? Oh, my goodness. I know. Um, <laughs> These questions. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's actually a good question because I'm trying to think of something my wife doesn't even know. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, we you're you're asking exclusive. a good question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm trying to think of something she doesn't even know. Shit, hold on. All right, ask me the next one. I'm gonna think about that one. Yeah, well, I'm actually, gonna come back to that. Well, actually, the next one was parting words for the guest. All right, all right, all right. I got that there. Hold up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this gonna get me in trouble because I know she's watching this. Uh oh. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. I know. Should have had that um Jeopardy theme. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, don't worry. I'll put that in there. <laughs> I'll throw it in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my funny. goodness. All right. Um, but just in case it pops into your mind, you know, just for time's sake, um, do you got any parting words for people, or words of wisdom, anything that we didn't cover that you'd like to mention? Uh, no, not really. You, you've you asked uh, some wonderful questions. I'm glad I was uh, able to answer. I hope I've been a good guest on your podcast, and thank Excellent. you for having me. Um, but to get back to your question real quick, it <laughs> would be not having more children. Ooh. You need to elaborate? Well, since I turned 21, almost every woman I've ever been with, whether it was just this or that, you know what I'm saying? Because I've only been in several serious relationships that lasted years. Um, but every single one wanted to have kids. And I was like, no, 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 no. And from what we had discussed earlier, mm -hmm. the reason why is because I don't trust women because my mother left so i'm not gonna have that happen to my kid not until i can be sure that you ain't gonna just walk out on your own damn kid right and, and you are and you are mom yeah how would you ever be sure of that what would let you know there I mean, you'll never you, man that's the problem you'll never be sure of man ever 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 that's where faith comes in, brother. Mm -hmm. That hey, is um, faith. We got less than a minute. Can we end this on something positive? Absolutely. I just ended it on faith, brother. <laughs> the, the, the faith. There you go. Dionysus, I appreciate you. Let me say goodbye to everybody. 
Hey, parting is such sweet sorrow, everyone. At the end of another podcast, I thank you for joining us. Remember that the Yambar Podcast is a place where you make it happen. Be sure to check out our previous Yambar Podcast guests. I'm here with Dionysus. Make sure you check out Max Payne GV on YouTube and soon Roku. Um, Dionysus, thank you so much. Word to your mother's uncle. <laughs> Peace, everybody. <laughs> The Yen Bar Podcast is produced by Flying Worm Entertainment.